welcome back to my channel. So today I'm showing you another one of my favorite bowls for weight loss and weight maintenance. I actually eat this like at least two or three times a week. Like I've been obsessed with this bowl. It's super easy to prep everything ahead of time so you can just cook it up or you can cook everything ahead of time and just heat it up when it's time to eat. This bowl does have kale and mushrooms like the last bowl I showed you guys, but I promise you it is super delicious and you're not gonna wanna miss out. But the next recipe I share with you guys won't have kale or mushroom. You can follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Make sure you check out my website. There's loads of free recipes on there to help you get started. And that's also where you'll find my books and meal plans. Thank you guys for making me an Amazon bestseller. My weight loss guide and cookbook, Plannifully Lean, has been received with so much love and support. And so I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I will have all sorts of links for you guys in the description box below. All right, you guys are always asking me about the supplements that I take that really helped my hair and helped me with hair loss. So I do have a video linked in the description box below along with the blog post I wrote about them as well as a link to the supplements along with a discount code. This is not a sponsored post. I just really, really love these multivitamins. My whole family takes them. So I will have everything linked for you guys in the description box below. All right, so the bowl like the one I'm gonna show you today is the easiest way to lose weight and keep it off in my opinion. Baking bowls is one of the major tools that I use to be able to sustain my new diet and lifestyle. And it's a great way to add in loads of nutrient dense foods for little calories. So this cheesy kale and mushroom hash is so, so delicious. It comes together really easily. Again, you can have everything prepped ahead of time. It is low in calories and super filling and satisfying. I have been eating this nonstop for the last two months. It is so good. But coming up with meals like this that are simple to prep for and super filling and satisfying and low in calorie is what helped me lose 70 pounds and be able to keep it off all these years. So let's jump into it and get cooking. All right, so I'm gonna start off by steaming my potatoes in my Instapot. I just throw in a steaming basket, add my potatoes, and then I add a few cups of water, and I just steam these guys for 25 minutes. All right, so now I'm gonna make the cheese sauce, and I'm gonna start off by boiling some potatoes and some carrots. Then to a blender, I'm gonna add a little bit of cashews. You can leave these out if you can't have cashews. You can use hemp seeds. I'm gonna add a little squeeze of lemon, then I'm going to add a little salt and then a little garlic powder and onion powder. Now that the potatoes and carrots are done cooking, I'm going to add them to my blender here. And you can find this recipe for free on my website. It's also in my weight loss guide and cookbook, Plantifully Lean, as well as in my 28 day meal plans. So after I've got the potatoes and carrots in the blender, I'm going to add some of the hot water that they were cooked in. Then I'm going to get it blending until it's nice and smooth and creamy. Now my potatoes are done, so I'm just gonna let them hang out while I prep the rest of my ingredients. So I'm gonna start off by getting this beautiful kale nice and chopped up. Now I'm gonna chop up my mushrooms because I don't like to have big pieces. I like them into little bite-sized pieces. And now I'm gonna dice an onion, and I just love these flavors together. They make a really savory dish. Okay, so now that my pan is nice and hot, I'm gonna add the onions and give them a little stir until they start to brown. I like to add a little garlic salt to season this. It gives it a really delicious flavor and it also helps them cook down quicker. Now that the mushrooms and onions have cooked down, I'm gonna add my kale for just a few minutes, long enough to let it steam and wilt. 
All right, so now I'm gonna take my steamed potatoes and I'm gonna chop them up. I'm going to season them with a little more of this garlic salt. Guys, if you haven't tried this garlic salt, I don't know why it's so delicious, but it is seriously so good. All right, so now I'm just gonna add my kale and mushroom mixture to my potatoes here. All right, and this is one of my favorite little secrets here that gives this dish so much flavor. So I'm gonna add a little bit of cheese sauce and then I'm going to add the best hot sauce in the entire world. So this is called Green Belly and I just buy it in any store here locally. This adds so much flavor to my cheese sauce. You can use any hot sauce that you love. This just happens to be the one that I'm obsessed with, but I add this to the cheese sauce and it makes such a delicious topping to this bowl. So this bowl has 425 calories and will seriously keep you full for hours and hours. All right, so here's a little behind the scenes. I've got all of my setup here. Let's see if I can get it in focus. So I will photograph that on my Sony Alpha A7 with my 50 millimeter lens. I love this camera. But yeah, I like to set the stage and just kind of sprinkle ingredients around, get some pretty background and some good lighting. And I don't use any lighting, like I have reflectors and I do use those sometimes, but otherwise I just try to shoot when it's like midday so I have the best lighting for all of my food photography. All right, so I'm going to finish up my pictures and then I'm gonna add the rest of my cheese sauce so that I can eat because I am hungry. All right guys, here it is. Look at that, isn't that so delicious? And it's so, so filling, oh my goodness. Mmm, and that hot sauce is everything, guys. Mmm. So I'm gonna show you this hot sauce again because it is seriously, it makes the dish for me. It's this green belly hot sauce. It does have a little oil in it, so if you're trying to like not eat oil at all, then this you don't wanna use this one, but it's 10 calories for one teaspoon and one gram of fat. And I put two teaspoons into my cheese sauce, but this is out of the 40 bottles of hot sauce that I have, because I am a hot sauce freak, like I love hot sauce. This is my favorite. We, it's made locally here in Colorado and actually met the owner years ago when he first started selling this at our local farmer's markets. And I've been addicted ever since. And I can find it in our natural grocery stores here. I can find it in Whole Foods, but I don't know if you guys will be able to find it where you are, but I will link their website. And I don't make any money off of this. The other hot sauce that is my second favorite is the Siete Habaneros hot sauce. It's so creamy and delicious, but again, this one does have a little oil. So do what you want with hot sauce or no hot sauce, but that green belly makes this dish for me. It is one of my family's favorites. This is so good. So again, for weight loss, eating bowls like this are not only easy to put together and have your things prepped ahead of time for, but it's a great way to reduce the amount of calories you're eating without reducing the volume of food you get to eat. Because when you're adding all of these non-starchy, low-calorie, high-nutrient, non-starchy vegetables, you're increasing the bulk of the food you get to eat. Potatoes are super low in calories as well and super filling and satisfying. And like I said, now Next time I will do a bowl that does not include kale and mushroom for those of you that just hate kale or mushrooms or both, but you could do this with any other green and veggie that you like. You could try zucchini or eggplant if you don't like mushrooms. And if I didn't have kale, I would throw in either Swiss chard or collard greens and even cabbage. Make sure to tag me on Instagram because I love seeing what you guys are eating and how your progress is going. As always, remember to keep this journey about health and not just about the skinny. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Oh.